Hello, today is Friday, the 30th of May, 2008, and this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today on Wall Strip, we're looking at shares of Bank of Hawaii, symbol BOH. And counterintuitively, I think, uh, here we have a, a banking stock that's up near all-time highs. We're looking first at this uh, weekly time frame, and you can see that from two th mid-2005 through uh, you know, about mid to late 2007, the stock was stuck under about $55 a share. Had some, uh, you know, each time it got up there, it found a source of supply that slowed it down, and the market drifted uh, lower from there. And in, actually, in January, it looked as though the stock was breaking it down, breaking down rather hard, uh, as it get down to about $41 a share. Um, as the uh, you know subprime mess uh, really was weighing on the market and every banking issue, but apparently uh, there's probably a, a better fundamental story here with BOH because this stock has recovered very nicely. You see, it's got these this nice thrust higher here, followed by a lower volume pullback, another thrust higher, and then this third one recently that brought it back above that resistance level at about 55. Now it seems as though the, you know, the market settled into this area a little bit, and it's uh, searching for support at this prior level of resistance, and perhaps consolidating for a further move higher. If we take a quick look at the monthly time frame going back about 10 years, you can see that uh, this is quite a solid level uh, of uh, activity in here. This, uh, that is, it should be support now near 55. So when we look at the daily time frame, you can see that here's where that breakout occurred. And now it's just kind of really, you know, fighting back and forth above and below there. It's good to see that the stock recovered on Thursday with some good volume after looking like it might be breaking to a lower low in here. But I think before you buy this stock on the long side, you want to see it clear this level here at about $55.10 a share. Getting back above that level gives us a higher high, and we could use this low for a level first stop. Definition of a trend is obviously, or an uptrend that is, it's higher highs and higher lows. And this is where we would get a short-term higher high. If we look at a 30-minute time frame, you can see that with a little more clarity right in here. And this picture is, is showing us that we've got a flattening out five-day moving average that might be acting as support now. And what I think could potentially be the case on a intraday time frame is it might build a little inverted head and shoulders pattern, which would build the energy for a break past there. But again, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't uh, purchase this stock until it gets a little upward momentum. Wait for the buyers to establish that they are in control, and once they are able to create this higher high on the short-term time frame, you could then put a stop either under here if you're looking for a longer-term investment near that 53 level, or if you're looking for a trade, whatever the low of this little pullback ends up being, let's say it's 54 and a, uh, 54 20 or so. When it, you know, if it can rally back up above that uh, resistance level, then you want to put your stop underneath that higher low. But this is definitely looking like a stock worth keeping an eye on uh, for uh, continued higher highs.